Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Perhaps you have some products that you would like to add a brand or a logo to and you'd like to make it look realistic. Well, I'm going to show you how to wrap an image around an object within Photop. The process is actually very simple and once you get into it, you can really define your um, image and customize it the way you like. So let's get into it. So the first thing you need, of course, is your product and a logo. Now, if you've imported your product by creating a new project, you can go up to File and tap on Open. This will give you the opportunity to go into your device and upload your logo or your second image. So making sure that both images are on one place um, instead of having up here on the left two places or two canvases. What we want to do is make sure that our background our logo is selected and we're going to use the select tool on the top left click down and we want to put our logo where we would like it to be on our product okay now to zoom in and out you can use alt and the wheel on your mouse so that we can really get in there and we can work on this logo now currently you can see that it just looks like a logo on top of an image what we want to do here is make sure that the logo is selected we're going to go up to the top left hand side tap on edit go down to free transform and on the top on the right hand side we're going to tap on wrap now basically what this allows you to do is take this image and adjust it to the shape of the bottle or whatever product you have behind it now over here on the top on the left it says none it looks like a little grid click on that you'll get a drop down menu and here are some presets of um, the way a logo can be wrapped so you can choose one that suits your product and your logo best so for example uh, we have the arch that's what that looks like so if this was perhaps on the top of this bottle here that's what you would use you can go ahead and really play around with which one is going to work for you now once you've selected one you'll see that you have little blocks and these blocks basically allow you to adjust your logo so what you do is click down on them and move them about to adjust the logo to fit the shape of your product if you're unhappy with the preset you can go in here and tap on custom and this will allow you to just stretch and play with the logo to suit your product once you're done with this process you'll see that your product and your logo does look better than what it did Let's click on this move tool over here or the select tool and here you will see that's what your logo looks like. Now the final step is going to the right hand side. You'll see make sure that it says layers that's selected and just underneath it it's normal right. So this basically allows you to blend the two layers together in a different way. So depending on what your product looks like the color and the tone and depending on what the color and the tone of your logo looks like you will use a different blend so for example if you're using multiply that's what it looks like and it doesn't really look very good so you'll have to look for one that suits your needs for me lighten looks good you can actually see the reflection of the light in this bottle through the logo so it looks like that logo is on that bottle if this was helpful drop us a like and we'll see you next time